This is Dr. Lewis Blevins of Pituitary World News, continuing in our series of short videos regarding radiographic findings so that you can learn more about pituitary disorders and also how to uh, interpret uh, MRI films. Uh, the patient I'm showing you today is a lady who was referred to us with a diagnosis of a pituitary tumor. Uh, she had her tumor detected when she had an MRI scan done to evaluate migraine headaches. And I'm going to uh, show you these sagittal films now. Sagittal films are side to side. And uh, this is far off sagittal. This is not of the pituitary area, but I'm gonna scroll through now and we'll take a look and see what we, what we can see. This here, we're getting into the carotid artery and you can see there's something in this region that would be what we call paracellar. Here's the tongue. Here's the inside of the nasal cavity. And here we go. We see this very large lesion that was thought to represent a pituitary adenoma. This is the mid-sagittal section, and I've uh, shared with you before that we can find the mid-sagittal section, in other words, the slice that's right through the middle of the side of the head, by finding the cerebral aqueduct here, and this is the fourth ventricle, this is the third ventricle, here's the hypothalamus in this area, this is the pituitary stalk, and here's the pituitary gland, flip side to side here, pituitary gland, pituitary gland, mid-sagittal section with the stalk and the pituitary gland. And what you see here is this large lesion that's actually underneath the pituitary gland, filling the sphenoid sinus cavity, enlarging that cavity, put bowing it backwards here, uh, pushing it forward and downward. So the sphenoid sinus cavity is enlarged by this large lesion. And actually what this looks like to me and what it proved to be uh, at surgery, and we expected this prior to surgery, but the patient still needed surgery to relieve it, was what's called a sphenoid sinus mucosal, and this is basically just a big cyst of mucus that uh, grows in size because the lining here, as you can see I'm lining it now, uh, is full of cells and their job is to make mucus in our nose, but they form a little cyst and it becomes like a mucus ball that uh, continues to, to fill with time because those cells believe their job is to make mucus. And that's what they're originally intended to do, but they form a cyst on themselves and they just grow bigger over time. So this lesion had to come out, especially since it was sort of uh, eroding the bone, uh, of the, the base of the sphenoid bone, uh, and even bowing backwards towards the, the brainstem here. Uh, so the patient did well with surgery. She had successful removal of this uh, and everything is fine. So not a pituitary tumor, thought to be a pituitary tumor. Uh, another interesting lesion in that her headaches are somewhat better after surgery. Uh, so it's a, another classic example of everybody with headaches probably deserves a scan. Uh, it doesn't mean they're gonna have a brain tumor or a pituitary tumor. Some people have other things and this lady ended up having a sphenoid sinus mucosal. All right, that's it for this scan. Uh, once again, Dr. Lewis Blevins of Pituitary World News. Have a good day.